Hello friends, today is Monday Thursday. And nope, I didn't say Monday Thursday, I said Monday Thursday. On this day, while Jesus was still ministering, before he was arrested and tried and crucified, and before he rose for us, a very special thing happened on this day all that time ago. We're going to talk a little bit about that in our devotion today. But first, we're going to take our Bibles and we're going to open them up to Luke 22 so that we can read verses 39 through 46. Go ahead and press pause and grab your Bible so you can look at this with me. If you don't have access to your Bible right now, no worries at all, friends. You know I'll read it for us. Luke 22, 39 through 46 says this. And he came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. And when he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw and knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. And there appeared to him an angel from heaven, strengthening him. And being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became as great drops of blood falling to the ground. And when he rose from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping for sorrow. And he said to them, Why are you sleeping? Rise and pray that you may not enter into temptation. Our devotions title for today is Watch and Pray, and it says this. Have you ever done something familiar that seemed different for some reason? Maybe that's how the disciples felt on that last Thursday night they spent with Jesus before he died. They celebrated the Passover with Jesus like they may have done two other years. The people and the pattern were the same, but the experience was different. Before supper, Jesus washed their feet. Servants were supposed to do that. Wow! But Jesus said that they were to serve one another. During the meal, Jesus took the bread and wine and said, This is my body, which is given for you. This cup, the wine, that is poured out for you is a new covenant in my blood. The disciples didn't quite understand what Jesus was saying. The whole thing was new and different. Now, well, you and I, we know and believe that Jesus gives us his own true body and blood in this sacred act, the Lord's Supper. Through this meal, Jesus brings forgiveness of sins and strengthens our faith. After supper, they all went to Gethsemane. This was a quiet place where they often went to be alone. When they arrived, Jesus said, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. Then Jesus walked a little further and prayed. The disciples couldn't hear what Jesus was saying, but they could tell that his prayers were different. Jesus was suffering as he prayed. The disciples were so upset and exhausted that they couldn't stay awake. Jesus woke the disciples and told them again to pray that they may not enter into temptation. Jesus, still today, tells us to watch and pray too. We have many things that tempt us to disobey God or just not to pay attention to Jesus. We can't overcome the temptations by ourselves. We pray for help. God hears our prayers and helps us. God does that out of love, the same love that sent Jesus to the cross to die for our sins. In him, we have forgiveness and strength. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for all you suffered for us. Help us to watch and pray. In your name, we pray now. Amen. Amen. I love you so much, my friends, and I look forward to being with you tomorrow on Good Friday. Have a great rest of your Monday Thursday. Bye.